Hi guys, so today there's something in my eye. Let's start that again. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to take this out while I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> I am actually going out for the first time in ages. It's not, it's definitely not going to be like I used to go out, like when, I've talk, talked about this a few times on my channel, but when I was 18 I definitely loved the tequila. So it's not, I don't drink anymore. I, I just don't drink, I don't want to drink. It's not that I'm against it, it's just I don't want to do that for myself at the moment and it's just not where I'm at. I feel very good, very happy. I'm just gonna do like a super chill get ready with me. I hardly wear makeup at the moment. I haven't, it's really weird. I haven't really been wanting to wear makeup, especially today guys. I'm pretty sure today it got up to about 38 degrees and I'm so hot, like I do not want to put on makeup right now so I'm just gonna do something super, super, super natural and super simple. Um, just probably like lashes, like that's literally all I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, so I just thought that I would quickly, this wasn't even planned, like I was just, let me fix my hair before I start talking because this is ridiculous. <laughs> So like I said, I'm literally going to be wearing like hardly no makeup. So I'm just going to quickly put on just a little bit of concealer on like, I have a little bit of redness right here. So that's what I'm going to do. Guys, you can't, oh, can you see that? Do you see this cleavage right now? It's thanks to this top. This is from the op shop. It's like a, it's literally from like the bathers section of the op shop. Like this is like bathers material and it's got this major, like major push up thing in the boob area, which I love because this top <laughs> makes me actually look like I have nice boobs because you may not see this or may not know this but I don't I don't have very big boobs whatsoever. I don't know why I'm sharing that with you guys. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen one of these videos that I do, um, hi. <laughs> I share way too much about myself on my YouTube channel but I wouldn't really have it any other way and some of you guys really like it. So some of you guys, I'm not saying all of you, some of you guys probably think that I am a mess. It almost feels like a diary, like my camera. It's so weird, the whole concept of YouTube to me, especially when it's like a like this, when you're just like kind of sitting, maybe a beauty channel. It's so weird that you're kind of talking to no one, but you're talking to a bunch of people. Obviously I don't have a huge following, but like I'm talking to, you know, maybe a couple hundred people right now. And like, it just is crazy to me <laughs> that I'm in my room, literally just talking to a camera by myself, so. I don't know why, but I've just been way more confident wearing less makeup, and I've talked about that before, but I don't know, sometimes when I wear a lot of makeup, I don't feel like myself, and I know that's really weird, but I've had um, occasions where I've gone out and I've worn makeup, and I've actually felt like kind of really like low-key self-conscious the entire night, because I just didn't really feel like myself, like I feel like much more myself when I wear a lot less makeup. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do to my face. This is like my actual go-to makeup look like this is if you guys wanted to see an actual go-to makeup look of mine this is it like I uh, like I said I don't often wear a full face or a lot so this is kind of what I like to do um, and then I'll go ahead just really quickly and um, fill in my eyebrows so I do them super light I kind of just brush them all the way up all the way up. But then I just like to kind of fill in any sparse areas, kind of shape them. I always like to kind of fill in the front quite a bit, actually. Um, I've noticed that about my eyebrows. Like, I really like the front to be nice and full. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And then it's literally, this is literally like a three-step makeup look. It could be classified as like a five-minute makeup, but this is my going out makeup. I'm trying to think if I need to like fill you guys in on anything. And if you watched my first like personal get ready with me, the one where I kind of talked about the guy, that I was like seeing and there was like nothing there. I don't know if any of you guys remember <laughs> or if any of you guys watched that, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but that, that's a funny story. Like he, that guy actually messaged me again, like a few times to kind of hang out again. And I was kind of like, like what? Because like when we like kind of stopped talking, like, and it was like a mutual kind of, we kind of just like, you know, you know when you just like phase out of something really naturally well that's what kind of happened and then he like messages me out of the blue and he's like hey like you know sorry I haven't been in touch and I was like like I I didn't really want to be in touch <laughs> you know what I was saying like I didn't want to be mean or anything so obviously I messaged back but like I just kind of didn't want it to go anywhere because it wasn't going anywhere I feel bad kind of 
being a little bit cold and standoffish like it's hard for me to be like that I'm such a um, warm person if you know me like if you if you're my friend or if you're um, uh, a close person to me a fan like whatever I'm a very warm person if you just meet me like um, if you met me and I'm super shy I'll be cold and shy because I'm shy but once you know me I'm like a super warm person so I felt really bad like being kind of standoffish with him but like I didn't really want to see him again Okay, so that is the brows done. Should I zoom in a little bit? Actually, you know what? Let's zoom you in. Oh, hi, guys. A <laughs> little bit. Okay, so the next thing that I do is go ahead, so easy, guys, is just put on some mascara. Favorite one, CoverGirl Peacock Flare. I was just about to talk about something, and I really wanted to talk about it, and I've forgotten. I, I often get the comment on my YouTube channel that, like, people are like, you talk so much, and I'm like, I can't argue with that. I know I do. <laughs> This is, this is, that's, that's just who I am. I, I can talk so much. I could talk for hours with the right person though. I recently, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I recently posted something very personal on my Instagram for International Women's Day. And I'm sure if you guys follow my journey and my channel and stuff, you may, some of you may not know, but I used to have anorexia really badly and anxiety and depression really badly. And I made a post about it. I posted like a photo and stuff, two photos, and just kind of spoke a little bit about it. It's very hard though um, to... <sighs> this is the thing. I've always been really like kind of skeptical to post something because it's so hard. It's so hard to put into a small caption to try to um, like put into words the experience because there's no putting it into words if you know what I'm saying like it's so difficult to put it into a small little caption like I, I did a very brief caption um, but literally my experience and everything I could make a book from it like I could literally just keep writing and writing and writing about it because it, it was just such a crazy experience to go through that um, so it's hard to kind of put it into a small little caption of what you go through because there's no imagining it unless you've gone through it yourself. You have no idea because it's just, it's crazy. And and um, anyway, so what I was going to say is that I feel like a lot of women, like most women, struggle with body image problems. Even if they don't have an eating disorder, they struggle with body image issues. And I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about it. Um, you know, especially people that have like a large following and stuff, I feel like they don't want their lives to look, um, like they want their lives to look perfect. For instance, Alexis Wren, nothing against her, but like, I feel like she kind of never really spoke about it because she kind of just wanted to look perfect. She wanted to look like she wasn't, she, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of people just want their lives to look perfect online when really nobody's life is perfect, nobody, um... You know, nobody has, you know, an easy life, you might say. So I don't know. And I feel like a lot of people's like, that's why I kind of don't like Instagram. Like at the same time, I love Instagram, but like, I don't, if you know what I mean. Because you don't, you just see like an edited face tuned picture and it kind of just is like, how can you, I don't know. I just, that's why I don't really like Instagram as much. Because it's not, it's not as real. I mean, YouTube is also very, um, it's hard to know who's authentic and who to trust and who to believe and all that sort of stuff. YouTube is very much about entertainment now, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I feel like at least with YouTube, you can somewhat get a better idea of what the person's like. Like, you can probably understand a little bit more of what I'm like from these sort of videos. It's kind of hard to like follow someone and know what somebody's like and be a fan of someone's if you don't really know what they're like in a, in, as a person, if you know what I'm saying. So that's why I kind of don't like Instagram and I don't like how people are always competing to have like look like they have the best life. These are eyelaw lashes and I literally cut like them in half like they these are basically I know that's kind of a waste of money but that's how I like my lashes I don't like wearing full lashes like along my entire thing so I cut these in half and they just create the most beautiful like fluffy cat wing thing and somebody actually complimented my eyelashes last week so I'm gonna wear these ones again and I have a hair in my eye where is it okay so while I'm waiting for these to kind of dry themselves a little bit more I'm gonna go and grab a black eyeshadow just because I always like to kind of put a little bit of black eyeshadow on where like I 
guys know what I mean, tight line a little bit, just so that you can't see any glue or it looks a bit more blended. So I'm going to go and do that really quick. Okay, so I'm quickly going to go ahead and grab this little winged liner brush and grab some of the black from the Busy Art palette and just quickly run that along my lash line just to kind of make sure that we haven't got any glue. Okay, so now for the lips, I'm just kind of mattifying them a little bit so the lip liner goes on a bit easier. I'm going to go ahead, look how small this is guys, that's my NYX lip liner natural, my favourite my favorite lip colour. Like just for every day, throw on, this is the best one. So the NYX lip liner and natural, I'm going to go ahead, overdraw a tiny bit and then we're basically, basically done with this makeup look guys. Okay, and then my final thing that I do is, I know a lot of people actually do this, so it's like a, it's like a secret thing that people do that not a lot of people talk about, but I like to fill in my hairline like a lot of people do, so I just like to take, my favourite thing is um, the powder that I use on my eyebrows from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, hold on, let me just open it, it's this one right here, the brown one, so I basically just take it on like a small blending brush right here, and you'll see, so self-explanatory, just kind of fill in my hairline so my hair looks a bit thicker. Okay guys, so I think that that is basically it. If you want to see, this is like, I'm going out right now, but this has been like my going out when I want to look really good, when I want to look myself, when I want to feel good and feel confident. This is my makeup look because I feel confident, I feel myself, I just feel the best version of myself, which I love. So, for all my fragrance people, because I know you guys wanted me to start doing this, my fragrance of the night, of course, is Lancome Oud Bouquet. One of the most epic fragrances I feel in the entire world, in my top five of all time. It's an epic fragrance. I got so many compliments on it every time I've worn this. It's it's kind of weird that I'm wearing it now because it's so hot and this can become quite full on in the heat. But because it's nighttime and I'm going like clubbing, bar, that sort of thing, I can wear it literally like two to three sprays max. And I'm an oversprayer. Like with all of my perfumes, I like to spray a little bit too much but you can't with this one because it's so intense. So I only spray like maybe two to three. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. But yeah, it's an amazing fragrance. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I know I didn't really talk a lot, but that's because literally I'm running so late, like an hour late, and I feel so rude, but I'm gonna go as soon as I stop filming. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you want to see from me. And yes, please follow me on Instagram if you'd like to. It's at demi.rolling. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.